Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verified business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. If you look at um, this action, I mean the first column that we have, what do you observe here? These are nothing but the list of objects. Okay, items are nothing but the list of objects like you have the agent name, we have the password, okay, flight reservation, date of flight, fly from, all these are objects. Okay, and this is the type of operation that we are performing. For system util dot run, it is basically the run operation. The value that we are giving over here, okay, this is your file path. Agent name, we are setting it as Priya. Password, we are setting it as some password over here. Date of flight, we are entering the date. Fly from, we are, you know, entering it as London. Fly to is Frankfurt. Do you see here? This is the value. And then here we have the documentation. Okay, documentation means what? These are the steps that we have executed. Like, what is the first step? Open the C program, this one. Then enter Priya in the agent name. Type the mic tab in the agent name, edit box. Okay. Click on the OK button. These are automatically generated scripts by the QTP or the steps by the QTP. Last column is the comments. Okay, the comments that we have given in the expert view, the same comments are appearing here like login, flight reservation. These are the comments. Okay, so these are the different columns that are present in the keyword view. Okay. So in the expert view, you have the program over here, but in the keyword view, what do you have? You have the columns over here. The tabular format is present over here. Okay. Now let's see how this keyword view and expert view are related. I go to Priya over here. Okay. Then I remove this. I make it as Neha. Okay. I have changed the value from Priya to Neha. Go to the expert view. Do you see? the change has happened here all right do you see the change has happened now let me change this okay in the expert view instead of neha i will put it as rupa i will remove this neha then i will put it as rupa go to the keyword view do you see the change what does this show you it means that in the back end keyword view and expert view are one and the same they are not different. Okay, they are one and the same. Only the way they are represented, it is different. But otherwise, they are one and the same. Okay. Is it clear, everybody? Okay. And now you can see here clearly that all the steps have got recorded under a single action. Do you see there is something called as action? Okay. We will try to explore more on this. So you have the login over here, you have the flight reservation. So all the steps have got recorded under this single action. If you expand, you can go on seeing it. Clear? Now we will try to work more on this action. Okay? We will try to work more on this action. Yes, Ritu, I will show you. Okay, what is the advantage of keyword view? We will come to it. Okay, there are a lot of features that, you know, are... Um, applicable to this data table, this active screen, and then, you know, this um, keyword view, expert view. We will be discovering more and more features from now. Okay. So, let's start with the actions. Okay. Fine. 
Now let me take an example. I will take your questions, you know, after this one. First, let's discuss it in uh, at a stretch. Because if you miss the sequence, then you will lose the continuity here. Okay? Fine. So we have tested the flight booking. Okay, we reserved the flight using the QTP. Then we tested the delete order. Then we tested the open order. Okay, these are the functionalities. Update order, which I had given you as an assignment. So we have the update order over here. Fax, the order is there. Right? So these are the different functionalities that are available in this flight reservation application. Correct? These are the different functionalities that are available. Now, if you have to test all these functionalities, okay, you got to make one separate QTP file for each one of these. Okay, for the flight reserved, one different file. For delete order, another file. Open order, another QTP file. Update order, another QTP file. Okay, so one functionality will get recorded in one file. Okay. Fine. Now, if I have to test this flight reservation, don't you think I have to first log in? And after I do the reservation, I got to log out, which is nothing but closing of the application. Yes or not? Then while deleting the order, okay, if I have to test this delete the order, of course, here also I got to log in. I got to log out. Open order, again log in, log out. Update order, login and then log out. Fax the order, login and log out. Do you see? We got to follow this, right? Now, we have how many files over here? Can you count and tell me? One, two, three, four and five files are there, okay? We are recording this login for five times. Log out is recorded for five times. Do you see? Okay, then. So, what is the drawback over here? It is wasting our time first of all. Okay, every time we have to go on recording the same script. It is taking the space on our disk. Okay. And it is also taking out our effort. Then there is maintainability problem. Let me explain this maintainability problem. What exactly it means. Okay. Maintainability means, okay, in case the steps are changed. Currently we are entering the agent name. We are entering the password. Let's say developer has introduced one additional step. We should also enter the agent ID. I mean I am making an assumption over here. In case the developer adds a new step into this login that we got to also add the agent ID. Then what happens? I got to make changes in how many places? I have to change the script, right? Now, uh, the developer has changed the software. I have to change the script also. So, in how many places I have to change? In all the five places I have to change. This is a maintainability problem. One small change and then you got to change so many files. In case I forget any file, what happens? It starts giving me an error. Okay? So, these are the issues that are involved with this kind of programming. Now let's see what is the solution. Don't you think it would be good if I do not record like this in every file. I record in a single file. Then I use the same thing in all the remaining files. How about this? I am recording only once and then I am using it in all the remaining files. Your time is saved. Space is saved. Effort is saved. In case you got to do the modification, do it in this location. It will get affected to all of these. Correct? Okay, now let's see how. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com 
on our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class the demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information if you still have more questions please feel free to call us call us at 770-777-1269 this is a United States number if you're calling from the UK call us at 020-337-1769 1-7-6-1-5 You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.